hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently i call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy whatever the enemy steals stole from you steals from you maybe they're planning to steal something Whatever the enemy took from you, it is being returned to you. It is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. And judgment is final. Okay. Okay, folks, let's go ahead and get into this read and see what in the name of source is going on in our tarot reading. We have someone that may be taking some type of action. Maybe they want to advocate for you or bring something to your awareness. Someone now has foresight. My darlings, <laughs> pick this. Someone now has foresight that they made the wrong decision in love, in life, in whatever this is. Someone could have chosen to go to the past choosing to get with the wrong energy. I don't know what this is. Or uh, maybe someone helped a group of people steal something from you, try to put you to rest or something like that, came up with a plan to put you to rest. And now they may be taking some type of action to meet with you, want to meet with you, want to run into you to bring something into your, uh, bring something to your awareness. Okay. This is a narcissist coming towards you that to help people again cause you some type of blockage, blockage, cause some type of stalemate. You don't have anything to say to this person, okay? Someone is going through some type of ending behind the scenes. This is why they are coming towards you. I'm telling you, someone is going through an ending behind the scenes for working with a group of people to cover the truth, block a new beginning for you, doing rituals, causing, uh, telling lies, manipulating, deceive. This person is coming towards you with an ulterior motive being sent by someone from behind the scenes, an empress energy, that martyr herself and help a group of people martyr themselves, a queen of swords, maybe telling the truth, or you could be the queen of swords and you find the strength to move on with your life. This whole community committed themselves, right, to a queen of wands. This is your energy as well. They've been trying to block you, but you find the strength to move on and your abundance is ensured, protected. This is you. You will be meeting your higher level soulmate. They're watching you. They know where you are. So are these people watching you as well, trying to see how things are going to play out. Your victory is ensured, okay? I'm telling you, everything, your home from, this is how someone sees you as wife material, mother material, business partner, everything. Someone will be connecting with you, okay? Someone will be connecting with you and they are in the clear to come towards you and present you with an opportunity. This is a judgment that has been made by your ancestors because someone has done the work to live in the upright. Someone sees the truth, they know the truth about a group of people that were fighting to block two people from coming together, okay? All the decisions they made have done nothing but leave them in anxiety, fear. Someone deals with a lot of anxiety in this group, I'm telling you. <laughs> Someone deals with a lot of anxiety in this group. It could be a king of pentacles that's going through an ending, okay? There's a, queen, there's a king of pentacles as well, as well. Planning to communicate with you. He is interested in you, wants to work with you. He's going through some type of healing. You have two king of pentacles in this situation. One wants to work with you. One is trying to figure out, you know, how he can keep causing blockages and he cannot. He does not have clearance to be in your energy. Okay. Someone is living in a whole lot of fear, a whole lot of fear. There's a masculine behind the scenes now that's learning to protect himself from these people. He's keeping his distance. This whole communi community, this couple, whatever this is, it's a whole lot of fighting going on behind the scenes. There is no harmony. Maybe people want to keep pretending like there's harmony. There's no harmony. Okay. And people know that because the truth has been exposed by them, uh, about them. They're refusing to heal. They don't want you receiving this message. About what has been taking place or the fact that someone has chosen you over them. Someone sees you as wish fulfillment and has taken their power back to come towards you. Okay. Oh yeah. It came right back out. The magician. Someone has found their voice, their power, their inner strength. Someone now knows that everything they need is within them. They have all of the necessary tools in life to move forward. They've been caught. Yeah. To move forward. 
through any blockages. They were making things difficult and complicated. They tried to put burdens on this person every time he wanted to take action to come towards you. Possibly to even find clarity about a situation because there was just too much hocus pocus going on behind the scenes. So someone wanted to come towards you to find clarity and they were causing burdens no more. He's leaving. He has the truth. Someone went within. He went within to find the truth about the situation. And it's game over for these people. This could be a king of pentacles that's sneaking away from these people. He's leaving. And they're still trying to cause mayhem, block his path. It's not happening. <laughs> He's still going to be presenting this offer. This is judgment by the ancestors in the universe. And it's freaking what? Victory. Okay? For you, queen of, Pen queen of pentacles, whoever this queen of pentacles in the reverse that has been showing up in our reading week after week, day after day, this is what she's going through, by the way. Reverse. She thought things was going to go in her favor. They're not. Okay? Two people are still coming together. There's something this woman did that's being looked into. I'm telling you, she's going through an ending. There's something she did or tried to do and it, it failed miserably and she's losing it behind the scenes. Someone has lost her mind behind the scenes be, uh, uh, at the idea, the thought of you receiving an offer from someone. I'm telling you, losing her mind. Losing her mind. There's a couple going through an ending behind the scenes. They may have received some type of information that's not going their way. Okay, their relationship is over. Okay, there's no harmony. There's something where these people were trying to make some type of community or relationship seem like what it was not, what the truth is out. Okay, it's out. The relationship is done, is dead. These people could be going through a divorce or separation. There's someone in here you may have had some type of soul contract with. Their soul contract is over. They're going to have to find someone else. To do it, I guess. Okay. Yeah, this soul contract is over. Find somebody else to do it. <laughs> and they're stuck on watching you. This could be someone from your past that's watching you. You had a contract with this person. And now they have foresight. They now understand that they betrayed themselves when they thought they were betraying you. Ain't that funny? How the universe works. Someone was paid to betray you. Cause you an ending. Someone accept their bribery. They said, well, we'll pay you to reject them. They said, oh, I'll take it. And the universe, their ancestors told them, ancestors told them, hey, don't do that. Yeah, they accept their bribery to block a new beginning for you. But honey, listen, that's on them. Because the truth is out. With that two of swords above the freaking fool, the truth is out. People have knowledge. About every blockage, every stalemate, every action, every manipulation these people were doing. It's all out in the open. So now someone is going from being stuck to being out here bold with confidence on their new path, their new journey. Someone is going from being closed-minded to being open-minded, basically. Someone's hopeful. Someone's optimistic. Someone's being programmed to be a certain way and they're walking away from that. OK, you could have people that want to come in and pick a fight with you and sources sitting them down in the, in the corner. Time out. Time out. You got to do time out. OK, things didn't go in their favor. They're losing something. Oh, yeah, they're losing something. They're losing something. Excuse me, my, my car, my camera timed out. I got to charge my battery. Oh, yeah. People going through endings, heartbreaks. A whole lot of emotions going on behind the scenes. He said, no. <laughs> Someone's cry is very ugly behind the scenes. Someone has some type of puppy dog look on their face, and they think it's going to make someone feel sorry for them. They don't feel sorry for you, honey. Okay? This whole family. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This whole family. Mm, yeah. This couple is going to have to move on if they want to recover. Uh, honey, there's too much going on. These people's lives 
if they want to recover whatever this is that they're losing the relationship the money whatever they're gonna have to leave you alone they're gonna have to leave you alone because at the end of the day whoever you are you already manifested a new beginning for yourself and you're moving on you're recovering they don't understand how you're recovering because the whole plan was to have you living in poverty and like have you trapped stuck not be seen but you are and they thought they were going to get away with it. This was a queen of wands. I was encouraging everybody to stay calm. It's going to work out in our favor. We know what we're doing. We're going to block this person's work, cause them heartbreak time and time again. We're going to cause them burdens. And Sora said, I think not. I don't think so. I don't think so. So while you're recovering, these people are going through something. And they may want to send someone in to play with your emotions. They're not allowed around you. Someone is blocked out of your energy. They're, yeah, honey, they're not allowed around you. Any Anyone try to come fool around with you, this is going to be them. There's someone that watches you. They're trying to do things your way. For example, since I do tarot a specific way, according to my personality and my knowledge, right? She'll more than like, likely watch me. Let's say she's pretending to be a better version of me. Girl, I don't know how that's possible. I'm dope as heck. Individual, unique, and I'll always be. Anyways, I don't know how she's doing that, but good luck with that one because I'm complicated enough for myself. Let's say she's trying to be a better version of me, okay? And she's practicing. She has a whole group behind the scenes working with her, trying to learn my personality. This is how she behaves. This is how she would handle this situation. I change like that. Okay, that's what authenticity is. Things are not predictable. So you trying to be like someone else is a waste of your time, especially if someone like me, child, please. She's watching how I do tarot, let's say. This is how she puts her cards out. This is what she says when this card comes out. So she thinks if she says the same thing, then she's telling the truth, the true message that she knows what she's doing or someone is going to buy it. It's not working. Things like that don't work. And that's why I always say, if someone chooses to pretend to be you, let them pretend. Don't, don't fuss about it. Don't fuss about it because this is going to be them when it's all done. When it's all said and done, that's going to be them. So you're recovering and these people don't know how it is that things have flipped um, flipped upside down. You're re Why are you still recovering? Why are you still hopeful? They don't want you being hopeful. And this is them. This is them receiving bad news. That they're being left out in the cold. Someone may have received some type of bad news about their living situation. Okay. They were waiting to hear that you were impoverished. You were being put out in the cold. You were being fired. Things like that. But they received good news. They said, oh, no, 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 no. The collective is doing just fine. The collective is out here living their best life. The collective is out here sunshine as always. I, there's this thing when people... Sometimes when people are trying to mess with my mood and they'll be like, how are you doing? I say, I'm sunshine. Sunshine always, darling. I'm sunshine. So you're out here sunshine, darling, and it's bothering these people because they know the amount of effort they put in, right? To hang you. <laughs> and it's a whole group of people that have been working behind the scenes to cause you an ending. Like mine is a whole group of people that's been working to block my, my platform, shut my platform down. Uh, 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 delete it, whatever they've been trying to do. Log me out of it. Some of them went and spent their last dime just to see me heartbroken and stuff, and I'm just watching the whole time. So like, I know, honey, what you're doing. I know every single one of you. I know. Keep keep going. It's okay. Because these are narcissists. They're going to keep trying, even though it's already been made known to them that they need to separate themselves from this freaking group because it ain't going nowhere. Oh, they're going to keep trying because like sometimes the emperor, they're stubborn. They're going to keep trying, trying to come up with options, trying to figure out what they can do to you to keep you blocked. And it's not going to go in their favor. So I just be sitting back like my, I don't know if you do the same thing. I, honey, it's gotten to the point where I just be sitting back and watching them with my mind's eyes. Like, here we go. Here we go. Billy's about to do this again. Look, look, look. Billy's getting some help. They're still recruiting people. Oh, people don't want to be part of this anymore. Looks like the group is falling apart. They're going to find new people. And those people are going to get tired and move on to. 
I guess we're going to go through the, go through everybody in the world before they sit down. Look, 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 look. Billy is cussing. He's cursing again. Look, 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 look. Billy throwing temper tantrum behind the scenes. And the temper tantrums is that because he's going through an ending, he you should be the one flat out. How come you're not you're not uh, depressed? How come you're not unhappy? Why are you still hopeful in life? Oh yeah, they're paying someone to come and do you this. Or they paid someone to come and do you this. The person may have must have changed their mind. So, mm, mm, mm. Like they saw the lies. Someone saw the lies. They said something ain't adding up. Something is not adding up. They may, oh yeah, something is not adding up. They may have offered someone some money to take you out. And maybe the person spoke with you. And they're like, no, 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 no. Something is not adding up. They told me this person was mean. They told me this person was rude. These are people where they will try to ruin your day. Just so when you go and speak to the person they've hired to honor life you, you can be rude to them. So they may take something from you, say something about you or to you to get you out of your energy. And then, you know, someone comes, the assassin comes to say hi to you, trying to study you. And you're like, and you're like, get the F away from me or you're rude to them. And then that gives them a reason to do something to you. Like that makes sense. That's what these kind of people do. They'll play with your mental, your emotions, but they do it from behind the scenes. They want you out of balance so that when people talk to you, they can say, oh, she's mean as heck. He's mean as heck. These are the kind of people that do stuff like this in the work area. Listen, I used to work for a company where people did this. They would temper with my work from behind the scenes, and I'm sitting there trying to figure out how to fix it. I'm like, I already know what you all are doing. It's a waste of time for me to be even going back and forth with you all, right? So I will be sitting there trying to fix it, and then they're sending people to come in uh fool with me mess with me right and then when i leave my office to kind of let's let's say walk out of there to go do something you'll have someone come to me and i'm already upset so i may look a little bit like standoffish because you know i have a whole lot going on behind the scenes that these employees don't know is going on behind the scenes and then the employees assume that i'm mean i'm rude i'm standoffish i don't want to help them like no it's not that like i can't tell them what's going on behind the scenes but it's not what you think it is. That's what these kind of people do. That's what they're doing in your lives, messing with you, messing with you at work, messing with your platform, messing with your business. And you're back there trying to figure it out, how to fix it, trying to steal your work from you, thinking you're not going to stand up and protect your work, your, your, your art and things like that. Because baby, this is my work. This is part of my legacy. So if you think I'm just going to roll over and you're just going to take it, you got a mo- another mother effing thing coming for you. And it ain't happening, honey. Oh, we're going to fight to the end of time. So if, if, if you're in some type of delusional realm, under some type of illusion where you think I'm just going to roll over like a little puppy dog and you're just going to tick, honey, please, please, we're going to battle this out till the end of time. I'm not one of you. You're not one of me. I'm not coming over to your side. I don't know why you're over my side. Because every time you come onto my platform, log into my phone, my computer, trying to shut something down, that's what you're doing. It's coming over to my side to cause problems. If you have a problem with me being gifted or me doing tarot, honey, go find something else to do. I don't know why these kind of people don't think like that. If you have a problem with someone, uh uh-huh. Why are you interacting with that person in any way, shape, or form? If you have a problem with something someone is doing, stop watching. Don't participate in it. Go find something else to do. That's like me saying I don't like a movie, but I go and pay to watch the movie in a movie theater. Come on. Come on. That's a special kind of dum-dum. Because these are people that are getting in their car to come and stalk people. Getting in their car to go and do stupid stuff. You want to tell me you are wasting your gas to go stalk people all over? Because that's what these kind of people do. They're trying to mess with your energy so that when people come around you, people talk to you, you're, you're already pissed off. You're already mad. 
and then they can have a reason to go and file a false report with your bosses. Tell your bosses that when they spoke with you, you were very rude on the phone or you didn't say hello to them when they said hello to you. You came into the building, you didn't greet them or something. That's what these kind of people do. Just immature. Immature as heck. And they are hiring family members to do it. Young, naive kids out here participating in this. And they don't know what their family members are getting them into. Nothing but burdens in your futures. Nothing but burdens in your futures. Because this is how much your family members care about you. That they'll have you get online and waste your time to bully people. They'll have you go out to go and stalk someone. That's how much they care about you, your friends and family, your bosses. That's how much they care about you. They say, hey, go waste your time and go stalk that person. Go lie on that person. Oh, it's always consequences, honey. Everything you do in life, there are consequences for it. Consequences, yeah. Fighting, all kinds of stuff. And they're all watching you still. And they're all under burdens. There are always consequences. Always. There are always consequences for everything you do in life. Don't ever mistake that. Okay? Someone is recovering and leaving these karmic people out in the cold, walking away. He don't went within. He said, oh my gosh, I effed up. I betrayed my twin flame. I did this. I missed the pr uh, perfect opportunity to build a successful empire I always wanted to build. Because this is someone some of you were supposed to work with. It doesn't always have to be a love thing. It doesn't always have to be a, a soulmate uh, thing. It can be you two men to come together and build a business together. Someone missed that opportunity. They didn't have foresight of what was being presented to them. They had an opportunity to work with you. Now they missed it, and all they can do is stand there thinking, thinking and thinking, thinking and thinking. They said, I, I had it right, I had, I had it right there. All my dreams, right there. The person I was, I have prayed to meet, I had them right there in the palm of my hands, and I let them go because I went and part, uh, partnered up with a community that deceived me. Okay, you you got to self-actualize. I don't care how old you are. Think, because you're never too young or too old to do time. You know that. You're never too young or too old to do time. So God forbid one of your friends or your, or your family members tell you to go and temper with something or someone and you get cut by the law. What do you think is going to happen? You think that family member or friend is going to say, oh, I'll do the time for them? Oh, honey, no. When you call them, they're not going to answer. And if they answer, they're not supporting you. They're not putting money on your books. What you're going to do, call them and say, I need some money. I just need $100 so they can let me out on bail. They're going to tell you, I don't have $100. They'll probably tell you, well, use the money I gave you. So basically, they pay you just to bail yourself out of jail. I thought they pay you to go and bully someone. When you get cut doing certain things, don't think that your family, your friend, your family members, your friends that told you to come and do something stupid is going to be there to bail you out. They're not bailing you out. And I don't care who it is. It could be your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad. They're not bailing you out because the very fact that they are hiring you or telling you to go and involve yourself in something of that magnitude should let you know how much they care care about you because family members and friends that care about you don't put you in these types of predicaments they don't ask you to go and bully people they don't ask you to go and steal from people they don't ask you to go and lie on people those are not your friends i'm telling you those are not your friends they're lying to you nothing but the enemy deceiving you those are not your friends okay not your friends at, at all. So you need to be alert. Pay attention. I don't care how old you are, 18, 19, 20. You need to self-actualize. Okay? You know when we're in our teenage years, we think we know everything. You don't know a goddamn thing. 
How do I know you don't know a goddamn thing? Because I, I'm 32 now and I sit back and look back at my life. I didn't know a goddamn thing when I was 17 years old. Nothing. I thought I knew it all. I was book smart, but street and life smart? No, baby. Not at all. I didn't know nothing. So now when I sit back and look at my life, I'm like, oh my gosh. You need to be careful with the choices you're making. Don't let anyone coerce you into doing stupid things like this. There are always consequences, and sometimes it comes when you least expect it. You can come out here, bully someone online, steal from someone, well, however way you're stealing from them, blocking their work, firing them, putting them out of a home, something like that. Okay? And the universe will let you go on fine and dandy for a little while. They'll let some of you get comfortable in life, build your life up and everything, get married. And then you want to have children, you can't have children. They'll let you have, some of you have, they'll let some of you have children, you lost a child. Consequences. Some of you, you go to jail. There are always consequences and they happen when you least expect them. And when they happen, oftentimes they're not things you can recover.